perhaps the reason why so many Tarnish remain maidenless these days is that they lack faith. A trip to the Dragon Communion Church or a healthy dose of Papa Bless from Turtle Pope Muriel won't suffice in boosting it. Tarnish must instead commit to hurling Heaven's wrath at their foes or immolating themselves to be a competent man or woman of the cloth in Elden Ring. If that doesn't help, a holy big stick certainly will. Today on Game Rant, we're counting down the 8 best faith weapons in Elden Ring. Starting with number 8, Erdtree Bow. Who says holy archers aren't a thing? The Erdtree Bow begs to disagree. It's a bow that deals higher holy damage than physical, eliminating the need for special arrows. In the right hands, and with some proper adjustments, it can allow a fully fledged bow build, which is quite rare in Souls games. The Mighty Shot Ashes of War also allows players to deal with shielded enemies and even dish out massive damage to some bosses. It's a shame that it can't be replaced, but the weapon skill isn't that limiting anyway, so it's a welcome addition to any player's arsenal. At number 7, Black Knife. The Black Knife is the destined death version of the Blade of Calling, and it's in many ways better than its golden cousin thanks to the weapon skill. Blade of Death is a red projectile that, on hit, will reduce the target's HP by 10% for 15 seconds. That's not all. On top of dealing damage, it will also deal additional damage over time. It's like a miniature version of Malachi's explosion ability. To that end, it can be deadly and troublesome to deal with in PvP. In PvE, it's great for whittling down boss HP from a safe distance. At number 6, Envoy's Longhorn. Don't be put off by the ridiculously comical weapon skill. Envoy's Longhorn is a super weapon in the right hands. The skill will rain down a hailstorm of golden bubbles that will deal holy damage upon contact. Against large enemies or bosses, this is the go-to faith boss killer. The damage scales well with high faith, and that makes it a good sidearm for builds that utilize Blasphemous Blade. If not for the weapon skill, then the horn itself is useful for bashing enemies with strike damage, which is useful against all enemy types. At number 5, the Sacred Relic Sword. The Sacred Relic Sword is one of the final weapons players get to unlock. It requires the soul of the final boss in the game. Luckily, those expecting this sword to be worthy of its cost won't be disappointed. The Sacred Relic Sword is one of the best farming weapons in the game, and it's all thanks to the Wave of Gold weapon skill. This skill unleashes a wave of golden light that travels forward and outward, dealing massive area damage. Against those Albanurics in the fan-favorite Mogwin Palace farming spot, this weapon is at the top of the food chain. At number 4, Malekith's Black Blade. Malachis Blackblade is a larger and heftier version of the Black Knife. It thus has a similar weapon skill but with a lot more area damage and a longer windup. The skill, Destined Death, is a large explosion that releases multiple red blades. Any enemy caught within the explosion radius will have their HP reduced by 10% for 15 seconds and suffer damage over time. On its own, the weapon is also impressive. Any Strength, Faith, or Paladin hybrids can't go wrong with this one. At number 3, Winged Scythe. The Winged Scythe is an incredibly underrated weapon that gives a good boost to some faith builds looking to become overpowered later on. It's slow when compared to other sides, but the weapon makes up for it with its impressive skill. It deals holy damage while sweeping a large area, making it useful for multiple targets. The Scythe is also great against enemies who are lightly armored since it also comes with inherent bleed damage. Pair that with the weapon skill which deals multiple hits, and faith builds can easily tap into the overpowered bleed territory. At number 2, Godslayer's Greatsword. For paladins who are tired of being sanctimonious and always dealing holy damage, the Godslayer's Greatsword is a great choice. It's obtainable after a rather tough boss fight in a rather tough area, but the payoff is worth it. Since the Godslayer's Greatsword is classified as a colossal weapon, it staggers enemies nicely, but of course, its main draw will always be the weapon skill. This imbues the sword with copious amounts of black flame and increases its range before some nasty diagonal slashing actions. Seeing as fire could get easily buffed by some talismans and other incantations, it's easy for this weapon to become overpowered. And finally, number 1, Blasphemous Blade. Speaking of faith weapons that become overpowered, the Blasphemous Blade easily comes out on top. It's a boss weapon, so that evens out its overpowered nature, but this thing can still trivialize all boss fights. It's all thanks to the weapon skill, Taker's Flames, which deals incredible amounts of fire damage. That's easily buffed with talismans, incantations, and the Physic Flask. If players get creative and resourceful enough, they can make Taker's Flames deal 4,000 to 6,000 points of fire damage in a single hit. Once they do, most bosses won't survive multiple hits. Those were our choices for the 8 best faith weapons in Elden Ring. Thank you for watching Game Rant. I'm Cameron. We'll see you next time.